what we're going to do today is I've got this old 80% furnace. Now this is from the middle 80s. Uh, it was kind of the old standard furnace, what they called the 80%. It was a steady state 80. But uh, we are going to check the heat exchanger on the side. This has actually got three heat exchangers. Uh, and we're going to check on the side of it the temperature and see how much temperature drop we have as we move up this heat exchanger. As we go up, you can see there's the top of it. Now I just cut all that away. And we're going to do some temperature checks on this thing and see what temperature this heat exchanger is at different portions. Now remember the burner is right down here. These are ribbon burners and so they go way back like this and the flame goes up. So let's see what the temperature is down here to start with. Now pretty much at the bottom you can see it's not very warm. Let's go up a couple inches. Now that's a lot warm. See now we're over 700. The highest temperature I'm reading is right there uh, where that first indentation comes in. About 840. You can notice this first indentation runs about 600. Let's go up to the next one. The second indentation looks like we're about 470, something like that, 480. Move up to the next one. Looks like we're about 340. And to the next one, not it's quite as much a drop, kind of depends on where you put the uh, temperature probe. Now when we get to the top up here, this last one, it's actually gone down quite a bit. 250, which is actually pretty low. It's uh, surprisingly low. So those are the different temperatures as you go through this heat exchanger. Okay, down here below, that's actually below the burners down there, so it wasn't very hot. Uh, and the gas was still burning there and still producing heat. Now remember we're at 800 on the bottom and we're at about 300 on the top. So as we went up, there was a considerable drop. Uh, you've got three of those indentations and more or less 100 degrees per drop plus that last one up there that dropped it quite a bit. So. Uh, that pretty much tells you what happens, how fast the heat moves through these things. Now this is by far not the most efficient heat exchanger out there. This was built before they had the requirements for uh, efficiency. It was called the 80% furnace. It wasn't really a highly efficient furnace. Anyway, that just got, kind of gives you an idea of where the, how the heat goes through these. Okay, remember, we're checking the outside of the heat exchanger on these things. So we're really not checking what the gas temperatures are inside. I'm going to do another one on these uh, a little later uh, with a higher efficiency furnace and we'll see what happens there.